I can't do anything else. I've researched everything that I can research. Uh, it's going to build a whole bunch of prosthetics. So, oh, darkness before dawn. Sir, one of our engineers has come crashing through the door. White face demanding to see you. I've run the calculations with the new di data. The storm will pass in a couple of days, yes. But the temperature just before the end will drop that drastically. Nothing can protect us from such cold. Panis panic is starting to spread and people are losing all hope. Don't worry. So it is really cold right now, but what we can do is we can put the generator in overdrive. So it will heat the surrounding area even more. But this bar is going to fill generator stress level. We need to keep an eye on that. Make sure that it doesn't get too high. Because once that gets too high, the generator is going to explode. And uh, that would be no fun for any of us. People refuse to work. Sir, a group of employees at the medical post refuse to work, go to work today. They say they would spend their final hours with their families. What should we do? Just let them stay home. I don't really care. Uh, just do your thing, man. We have done everything that we can, and now we just have to wait it out. That's it. We can't do nothing more. I'm also going to put the extra rations on here. So that will hopefully cure more sick people faster. Uh, yeah, also here. So one more day, last day. We're at the last day. Look at this. After this, the temperature is going to drop again. After that, it was it's going to rise. So we're almost through it. Look at this. And the overdrive is slowly heating up. The stress level of the generator is uh, slowly going up. Can we can we do it? I think we're gonna have to turn it off just before this temperature drop is gonna come. Sir, even more people have abandoned their workplace. They're completely petrified. Many of them don't believe we we will make it. This time, the entire staff of the, of this factory has been refused. Have refused to go to work. Uh, just let them stay home, dude. It's like the end of times. <laughs> we either do it or we don't. Miracle happens. Sure, it's a miracle. The man who went looking for his daughter is back. He brought her with him. He says that he found her soon after leaving the city, but then they got lost and had to wait for a, f for a law in a busy blizzard to find their way back. They're both exhausted and frostbitten, but very happy. Great. Nice to know. Those were the people, that was the man that we gave some extra rations to. So he could... I'm gonna have to turn it off pretty soon. Pan Express, more people have been, let them stay home. I don't care. Uh, it's getting pretty high. Turn off the overdrive. We can turn it off a little while, so it can cool down a little bit. And now I'm going to turn it back up. Oh, now I'm going to turn it back on. So it increase a little bit. Now I'm going to turn it back off, so it will decrease a little bit. Now I'm going to turn it back on, so it will increase a little bit. Now I'm going to turn it back off, so it will decrease a little bit. Almost, man. Just a few more hours. 
And once this storm hits, I'm going to turn it back on again. And that last day we will have a little bit of overdrive to survive it with. Look at this. It's going to hit. This temperature drop is going to hit. Going to get minus 150 degrees. Now I'm going to turn it back on. The last few hours, we're just going to have to survive. Work ceases. Sir, most of our people have abandoned the workplace to stay home with their families. Only the medical facilities are still functioning. The city holds its breath, waiting for whatever to, the end will bring. Uh, yeah. Good. Okay, that's okay. And there we go. It is the cold. The cold. The last cold before the end. Don't worry. You can also... Can we take a look at the world? No, we can't. I'm just going to turn it off just before it hits full stress level. Minus 150 degrees, dude. Yes, and now we turn it off because it's on 99%. And now we just wait out the last few hours. We can't do anything else. Just huddle up, get cozy, and I hope that we make those last few hours. The storm ends, the wind dies down, and the temperature finally starts to rise. An eerie silence descends on the city. Oh my god, look at how beautiful this thermometer is looking. Oh my god. We did it. We survived the final blow. We will live. It's finally over, yes. Thank God. Damn right it was worth it. We saved 590 people, dude. I don't get why it wouldn't be worth it. We could have saved more people. But, uh, you know, all of a sudden like 30 people died. That was like really weird. Unexpected. That's the game. It's a really fun game. And, uh, you know, you can play it yourself as well. It's really challenging. And you can also play it on... Uh, harder difficulties also there are multiple scenarios so you can also get like uh, another scenario as the bright minds of oxford and cambridge we have been sent to save priceless seeds and plant specimens from the eternal winter do we have what it takes to keep the seedling arcs safe 
So there are different buildings with sheet links in them. So sheet. And what you can, what you have to do is you have to keep those safe by keeping them warm. And you know, you can also play that scenario. There's like the refugees, the fall winter home. So that place that was uh, abandoned or place where everybody was dead. We uh, found that place. Uh, you can play a scenario where you have to prevent them dying. Uh, so yeah, Th there are different scenarios, so it's really fun. But for now, that's it. One thing goes watching, please leave a like. Also leave a comment. Comments really help with the algorithm and you would be helping me out a lot. And subscribe if you don't want to miss the next episode. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.